The Bible tells us that God is a God of covenant. So when we say God, God of covenant, uh, we, we're saying that God is a God who makes um, a, a solemn promise and then he is loyal and he's faithful to that. He's a covenant keeping God. The God of the Bible is a God of covenant. He's saying the God, uh, our God, the God of the Bible is a God who is faithful and he keeps covenant. He keeps the promises that he makes. The word covenant really uh, refers to a serious binding agreement uh, between two parties. Covenant is a solemn promise. It's a firm, unbreakable promise, commitment or agreement made between two parties. So keep in mind the Bible itself is a book of covenant. It reveals God's covenant to us. It's the old covenant and the new covenant. Covenant really the purpose of covenant is relationship. Why do people make an agreement? Why do people make a commitment, a solemn and a firm agreement? It, it is in order to establish a relationship and covenant is so important because in covenant, covenant forms the basis for our relationship with God uh, through which he has invited us to be his sons and daughters. So our relationship with God as sons and daughters, as heirs of God, as joint heirs with Christ, all of that is wrapped in covenant. Meaning covenant is what undergirds all of this relationship. So you are a covenant son. You are a covenant daughter of God. Uh, your, your, an inheritor of the kingdom is wrapped in this covenant relationship with God. Now, for the covenant that God establishes, there are two cornerstones of God's covenant. One, his word and his nature. We must understand that uh, these two are cornerstones of God's covenant. That means when God establishes a covenant with us, uh, it is backed up by his own nature and by his word. Now in scripture, what we see is this. Uh, when we talk about the nature of God's covenant with man, I will highlight a few things here. First of all, God is the initiator and the keeper of the covenant. When God wants to establish a covenant with man, he initiates it and he says, I'm going to establish my covenant with you. And so when God, God initiates that, he establishes that. And what as people, we enter into that covenant. Number three, in a covenant relationship, there are blessings that are yours. Uh, and God says, you know, these are the blessings that I, I release upon you. And number four, you know, God does not permit dual commitments. So when you enter into a covenant with God, when you join yourself with God, that's it. You're, you're there and all of you are in, in that covenant that you cannot commit yourself to anything else. So God expects all of you when you step in to a covenant. Now the Old Testament understands Yahweh always as the covenant God, the eternal, self-existent, unchangeable God who keeps covenant. And that's what Yahweh means. And Malachi 3 verse 6, God says, I am the Lord, that is, I am Yahweh, the same covenant name, I do not change. So even today, as New Testament believers, as we worship our God, you know, He is Yahweh. He is the covenant keeping God, the God who makes covenant and the God who keeps covenant covenant. The highest form of covenant is the blood covenant, meaning here you are saying that I am making a solemn promise, a firm, unbreakable promise, a commitment or agreement the two parties are making with each other, but it involves blood. It means life. So when you enter into a blood covenant with somebody, you're saying, I'm giving you my life. I'm giving you my love and I'm promising you my protection. When God established covenant, it is very interesting to see how he established a blood covenant with Abraham, and then also through Moses with his people. You know, and it is very important for us to understand that, that uh, our covenant with God affects the way we live on earth. And so I wanna highlight that So uh, from looking at the Old Testament, looking at the, uh, the, the, the people of Israel as they walked with God. So God told him, told them in, in, in Exodus 19 and verse five, he said, uh, if you will obey my voice and keep my covenant, you will be a special treasure to me above all people, for all the earth is mine. So God said, look, you keep my covenant. You're going to be a special people to me. You're going to be a special treasure. And so God drew a distinction between them 
and the rest of the nations because they were in covenant, they were in a blood covenant with Almighty God.